So we usually have like a uh, uh, like a PowerPoint thing we always show that's like. 90% not serious, um, <laughs> but it's kind of outdated now. It, yeah, it, it, was, it was made like four years ago. Oh my gosh. Wait, when was... Like, it was like four years ago. Was it? Yeah. It was a few. It was yeah. whenever the film festival thing we do. Anyway. Yeah, um, the first film festival we did was like four years ago. Yeah. Um, that's when we did our master class. We felt really cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a joke about that still on the There's a joke about that in the, in the PowerPoint. It's like, we also have to be like, oh, ignore that part because it's not funny anymore. Yeah. Um, that's uh, not relevant because you don't go to the University of Alabama. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, what, are you, what are you doing? If you're not using it, I am. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not plugged into anything. anything. There's, <laughs> four, there's five microphones and three cables, so Is that good job, on? guys. Huh? Oh, it's on. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, so instead of going with that outdated uh, PowerPoint, let's just... Uh, I don't know. What, 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 what do you guys want to talk about? Just turn it into a Q&A. Yeah, yeah you gotta, if, if you guys get any questions at any point uh, about... Try to keep it web-centric because... Web-centric? <laughs> because we have our Marble Hornets. Yeah, we got the Marble yeah, Hornets. I almost said, I almost said Harble Hornets. Harble Hornets. Harble Hornets. Harble Hornets. <laughs> <laughs> keep it centered to the uh, web yeah, space. Yeah, we, we need stuff to talk about at the Marble Hornets Q&A, so like... How we make stuff. If, yeah. if anything, let's keep it to content creation, maybe how to work on things, maybe different strategies on how to get a production going, uh, maybe web presence, stuff like that, you know. Search engine optimization, that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I've got a question. Sure. How do you find a team? That's a good question. Have friends. I wasn't going to stop at just have friends. I was going to say have friends that also want to make stuff. Okay. With you. Uh, that so also like, don't do anything in their yeah. spare time. Yeah. Yeah. And that also have some artistic ability. And, <laughs> and <coughs> I, I wouldn't be here if that was necessary. <laughs> Joseph Drew's a pretty sweet anime in his middle school years. Yeah, man. It's pretty good. I was actually kind of jealous of him in middle school because I was like, man, he's really good. And he's. <laughs> and like, all I can draw are these stupid cartoons. Uh, hey, um, you had the MS Paint thing going for a um, while. And then I'll you give you a fell off here. All I did was I just stared down Nintendo Power drawings and tried to recreate them. Awesome. <laughs> like uh, Golden Sun and stuff like that. Uh, Those were big inspirations to my <laughs> artist. <laughs> Anyway, about the team, uh, <laughs> we got started because Troy wanted to make uh, Marvel Hornets and needed some help, so he was like, hey, what are you doing? And I wasn't doing anything. So it that's how we assembled our <laughs> all-star cast. There wasn't like a, uh, I didn't like vet anyone. It was yeah. like, oh, who's going to be the best person for this team? I was just like, hey, I've done, I went to school with Joseph. Yeah. <laughs> In case you didn't know, Noah, Joseph, Troy, Tim. Yeah. That was Joseph. That um, sounds me. Uh, I, I went to school with Joseph, so I was like, oh, I know he'll help with whatever, and so I know, I know he's and I, doing and, literally and nothing. And I know he's doing, I know he's doing nothing rotting away in a video game store. Yeah. Uh, granted, it wasn't like GameStop or anything, yeah. so at least it wasn't terrible, yeah. was it? No. Okay. It was a good job. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that one time you called me down and were like, hey, can you like come behind the counter with me? And I'll pay you. You never paid me. You said you would pay me. You said you'd give me. You said you'd give me. That doesn't sound like twenty for like twenty five dollars. We're like I'm swamped right now. Can you come help me? And I was like, uh, sure. But I got there. There's no one there anymore. So. Oh. Oh yeah. Well, that's probably why I didn't pay you. <laughs> probably why. Also because I told that guy that Sonic Two K Six sucks when he asked if it was good. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, he was gonna buy. Yeah, he was gonna buy. I was like, don't, don't buy that. Look, man. when you're in the doggy dog world, of sales, <laughs> if someone wants to buy Sonic Two K Six, you let them. <laughs> I just couldn't live with myself when I did that. You, you kill a soul every time you do. It's like, oh, you know, it's okay. I couldn't lie to him like that. <laughs> I got a soul. No. I think uh, I remember my reaction to you when you did that too. I was just like, just like what, man? If, if it was literally any other game, I would have said it's good. <laughs> but I even knew Bungie in 3D. Mm. Yes. Yeah. What is wrong with you? Um. But anyway, uh, yeah, I just picked Joseph because I knew he wasn't terrible at everything. Yeah. So <laughs> thanks. That's yeah. why he wasn't doing anything. <laughs> and uh, then. We just kind of wrote what we knew, I guess. I was like, hey, I want to. I had the basic idea already. I was like, hey, I didn't even have the name for the series. Uh, it's just like, it's hey. kind of lucky that we had uh, similar ideas of what was creepy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, find, find friends that are uh, willing to work with you and share similar interests. Because, yeah. like, 
if I was like a gore fiend or something like that, and you know, that obviously wouldn't mesh with the series we created, yeah. like there would be issues there. Uh, <laughs> we, so. we would have used a lot more fake blood. Yeah. Uh, can I, I want to jump in here really quick too. Um, in terms of, if you're not around people who are doing common things that you like, or, or just in general, if you think that maybe your friend group isn't exactly what you're looking for in terms of like a team. Mm -hmm. Which uh, is okay, don't feel bad. About e exactly, that. if anything, your friends and your production should never bleed too much because uh, you, you may have a friend who you want to work with because you're their friends, you know? Uh, but then you'll have a problem where it's like, oh no, they're, they're not working well, or they are lazy and they don't want to do this anymore, but you don't want to fire them because you're your friends, you know what I mean? And that, and that, yeah. that becomes very difficult. Um, so it's always, good to find, uh, it's always good to find people that have common interest in the drive, too. That's, that's a big thing. If anything, I would, uh, to point you in the right direction, I would probably point you uh, to uh, find out things in either local communities, try maybe a local theater, uh, you could actually find a lot of actors that way. You can find a lot of people who are interested in making a stage performance or maybe even a movie thing. Um, and if you want to get into something like uh, animation or voice acting or anything like that, I would definitely recommend uh, probably Newgrounds.com. Uh, I got I got my start there, uh, and that I was able to get into a lot of production stuff okay. by working with different people in that sense too. Okay. So. I'm, I'm a writer, writer so, so I'm a writer, so I'm looking for the, yeah. I'm looking for the visual experts. Well, yeah. there you go. No, but that's the internet makes the world a lot smaller place. Uh, uh, yeah, and if anything, you can actually find your animators or your filmmakers or your you know creation people. Work with them, and basically, in any production, every team comes together and they do their part, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if you go in going, I have a script, make my thing, no one's gonna wanna work with you because yeah. at the end of the day, they could go get their own script. But if you go, look, I wanna write this, and I wanna help set up shots, and I wanna plot out things, mm -hmm. then you become more of a, a giver rather than just like, I wanna take, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, yeah, I think that there's, a, a, there's, always, there's always people looking to work on stuff. You just basically, uh, don't settle on like, oh, that guy's willing, let's do it, you know, because yeah. you want to find, you want to find your right, your yeah. team. Even though that's exactly what I did with Joseph. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we worked yeah. out! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sometimes. Yeah, the scope of our thing was a lot different than it ended up being, like what we thought it was going to be, expectation versus reality, or yeah. what eventually became reality. And that's okay, too. You know? Yeah, that was like, uh, I don't want to shout anymore. Uh, that was like, it just kind of started off as a thing for like dozen, two dozen people yeah. on something off of it. Yeah, and then it, it just got a word of mouth thing and spread like wildfire because it was a popular thing at the time. Because yeah. no one had done, um, you know, like the Slender Man type stuff yet. Uh, so it was, it was right place, right time kind of thing. Sure. Um, so we were definitely lucky in that regard. We also did an okay job at it, I think. Yeah. You know? <laughs> we also we also did suck, I guess. Yeah. There you go. Good advice. Don't suck. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> How do you like keep on like doing your work while filming, like not goofing off? Yeah. Oh, if we find the answer to that question, we'll let you know. Yeah. That's, that's the whole like trying not to let friendship bleed too much into production because yes, we are all very good friends. I've known Troy for like sixteen plus years now. Uh, but I guess I've known you guys for like eight now, yeah, something like that. See, yeah. when now. I was when I was a junior, uh, yeah, junior in college, two thousand eight. So yeah, yeah. And Noah just joined the team, but we've known him for almost a year now as well. So it's like we all get along. We all know each other really well. Right. Uh, but I think, I think it was more of a problem at the beginning of Marvel Hornets than it is now because we we've, we've been burned enough by oh, goofing off. Yeah. No, I talk loud anyway. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, we're, it's that whole uh, self-discipline of being able to say, we need to buckle down, we need to, mm -hmm. to do this. That's actually one of the reasons why we got Noah. Yeah. Because we were like, we need an outside person who isn't like, I don't, I don't want to say our friend. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean, though? Like, I, I mean, I, I, if anything... Uh, it I, wasn't like, in the yeah. same... Uh, Had history. Is, yeah. yeah, it basically, uh, I've been doing, uh, I've been a production manager for about eight years now. Uh, I've done animation, writing, and voice acting. So I've worked corporate, I've worked indie, I've worked on games and cartoons. So it's like, I, basically, I've created a, a firm grasp of like, 
let's build out a timeline. And, and again, that, that, that doesn't mean that anyone in this room couldn't just go, I want to do a project. Oh, but I guess I need a production manager. Do, you be your own production manager. Like, that's the thing. Like, I got to where I was because I became my own production manager in my head. And I think everybody needs to, because especially uh, when, when we go over projects, it's like, all right, guys, this is what we got to do. We got to do this, this, this. Uh, we all have our own roles as a team, because again, we're a team, we're one unit. So when we try to accomplish goals, everyone has the schedule in front of them, but we also have our own personal things. So when you pull aside and you're not with everybody else and you're just thinking in your own head, you also have to be a production manager because my part is important too. Because if you drop the ball, if one of us drops the ball, then the thing crumbles, you know what I mean? You're only as strong as your weakest link. Um, so yeah, just um, again, just be focused on the, this one concept. This one concept always drove me. It's like, if I want to do it, why am I not doing it? You know, the, the, you're you're your worst enemy by not making yourself actually go out and do it. You know, so to, to get real for a second, let's get real. <clears throat> what when we brought Noah on, we had a lot of stuff that we wanted to do, and we were actually like felt the crushing weight of all these looming projects that we really wanted to do, but we had no idea of how to tackle them because we had only been doing the one series for so long and making little back videos as kind of a, an outlet, uh, a release valve for all the stress of making something serious. It's like, let's make something silly. Uh, we brought on Noah, the first month was just basically prep work for everything. And I counted the other day, counting the, we're on a quest that we'll release this week, uh, which we need to on private today, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, night four, 13 videos in two months. So, so for being able to be your production manager is a valuable asset when you can be that productive, and we, we definitely do. So. Yep. <laughs> Unadulterated success. Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that an answer? Okay. <laughs> I didn't say good answer. I just said is that an answer? Yeah. Is that, that, that answer good enough for you? No. <laughs> right on. Uh, any other questions? Production web series, whatever questions you might yeah. have, and not necessarily just video, like just making stuff in general. Seriously, yeah. you want to make you want to make a web comic, you want to make a, a live. Oh yes. What equipment did you start out with when you first started, you know, making it? Uh, with Marvel Hornets, it was just a little Sony Handycam. Yeah. Uh, a Sony Handycam that was an impulse buy like two years earlier, so it was already old. When now we have two other cameras that were also impulse buys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're better cameras. There yeah. were more expensive impulse buys. Yeah, uh, <laughs> the DSLRs. Uh, uh, T3i. Yeah, uh, we use T3i DSLR for the fact shorts we make, the comedy shorts we do, uh, and then for Marvel Hornets, it is uh, it's a Sony Handycam, old. That's that's the kind <laughs> it is. Uh, it's like I know I know the model number. It's like HDR SR5 or something, but it's yeah. so old. It's like don't buy that. It's <laughs> bad. Uh, just like. It's basically the same. It was consumer brand like yeah. how many years ago? It was so. consumer grade like probably 10 years ago. Yeah. Uh, so um, basically it's, it's the equivalent of going out to Best Buy and buying the first camera you see. So that's what we made Marble Hornets with. And then, um, yeah, we use the... Does the Nexus 6 have a better or worse camera than the Handycam? Probably better. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, it is a pretty good one. I don't know. <laughs> it's like so my phone, phone might be better. Cameras work too. Yeah. And the, the Handycam does do HD. Just I don't know if it's just okay HD at best. Yeah. But it is it is it is technically the by 1080 definition. resolution. So by definition, it is HD. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's like a, a 1080p resolution with a really crap sensor in the camera. So yeah. it's like it's really big and not pretty. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that camera. We also um, have a Canon XA20. Uh, Which is a big boy camcorder camera yeah. um, that we don't use very much because yeah. it's hard to use. It would be really useful if we did like documentaries, the news. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they're made for too. I was yeah. like, oh, it'll be fine, but yeah. if we don't do the news. Um, we should. I, it, the, why don't we do DS the news? <laughs> yeah, why don't we do the news? <laughs> the DSLR seems to have a lot more impact with the kind of shorts we do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's easier to run and gun with. So. For for bang for your buck, a DSLR camera is pretty good. You you would think we would have learned our lesson after the first GoPro, but we recently got a new GoPro and realized it's maybe not what we're looking for. It's, to. it's temperamental with our editing software. Yeah. Um, but GoPros yeah. GoPros do not play nice with Premiere for whatever reason. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's I think that's everything we use. 
Were you, were you just talking about cameras or just the equipment? Equipment. Yeah, for any kind of project. And lights. Uh, That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we recently got our first light kit. I'm pretty proud of it. Yeah, we're big boys now. Uh, yeah. No big deal. Yeah. You know, it's just pretty cool. We're, we got, we have a reflector that we used once. It's really bright. It hurts your eyes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's almost as if reflecting the sun into your eyes hurts. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. That's have, good. Yeah. That's good. Got a yeah. We have a portable recorder. It's a Zoom H4n, and it takes. It has two of these kind of ports on it, so you can plug those kind of microphones into it. And, when we do uh, celebrity D and D later, is that tomorrow or that's that? later today? Oh, that's later today. Okay, we're gonna record it on that. Yeah, I'm you gonna, gonna, go I'm to gonna that. take that's that good. recorder and plug it into this. I guess. I guess we'll just put it in the headphone jack. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, and then have that up as a podcast but then yeah we also have a podcast and we got a very a much cheaper version of one of these uh and some some cheaper microphones that kind that are kind of like this to go into it so we have yeah. a had a nice setup going on for that because the first podcast we did the first two podcasts we did we just had like that one Omnidirectional more than microphone. that. We did that for a few months. Okay, we had like, like that one omnidirectional microphone. We just kind of all gathered around one and it sounded... <laughs> Which works fine. Plenty yeah. of people do use that. Yeah. We just felt like bumping it up after a little bit. Yeah, it sounded... <laughs> compared to how it sounds now, it was like, man, that was, yeah. that was weird. I mean, uh, I saw a video of Rob Paulson doing his podcast, and that's what he uses. It's like oh, the really? exact same microphone. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's a, it was a, 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 ch a cheaper but good sort of starter microphone is is called a uh it's made by the company blue and it's called a uh, blue yeti Yeti's. and it's about 100 bucks maybe 100, 100 120 it's like 120 bucks I think. yeah and it's a usb microphone and it's about it, it comes on a stand it's about this tall it works out pretty good yeah it's actually the yeti is actually a pretty good microphone if you wanted to uh, start out for voice acting mm -hmm. like that's kind of a, a solid that or the snowball is a solid like bar of like hey I should try doing some recording snowball is made by the same company isn't it yep it's still blue yeah, yeah. so all of our equipment is pretty easily attainable like yeah. it's, it's yeah. nothing is just like everything thousand dollar cameras or anything everything like that. except for the XA20 is sub a thousand dollars yeah so it's and most of it is well under that what's like, the distribution of work between you guys for production right now uh, Troy has been the main editor for our stuff for a long time but Tim is now helping him out with the Thack shorts mm -hmm. uh, you can see a good example of his and Troy's collaboration with the latest short computer <laughs> Tim. Uh, here's the URL <laughs> uh, 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 Troy, uh, Troy and uh, Noah do animation and stuff you should definitely come to our Marble Horns Q&A, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> For real, just come to it. Uh, we'll see what that means. Um, I, I provide a home base for all of our operations. Yeah. <laughs> Joseph holds all the inventory. I, I do inventory. I, uh, I do a lot of correspondence with like uh, conventions, stuff like that. Uh, I, because I'm just getting into the editing, I do the We're on a Quest stuff, uh, which it's is... A, yeah, our our live D and D uh, <laughs> yeah. live streams that uh, he cuts together yeah. for YouTube. But man, I provide office space. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> about it. Appreciate it. Also oh, writing. He does yeah. writing. Yeah. we all. Yeah, we all do writing. We all do writing. Yeah, and everything. If, if it if it hasn't been too obvious already, I I do all the most of the audio stuff. Oh, so, because yeah. um, uh, we nerd. do a we do a podcast, and I run the mixing board and then uh, do all of the, the post work once it's actually recorded to um, you know sort of beef it up and make it more uh, professional sounding and manage the, the SoundCloud account that the podcast is on and then uh, I've been doing a lot of the mastering for the actual videos too now lately I guess and the uh, music and the music too the music yeah too. Uh, last, last few videos have started becoming the the, the music composer guy too, because um, you have like you have like two or three synths. Uh, I have one actual synthesizer and one that's just the the, the USB keyboard controller yeah. that's got the I use those the software in there. Yeah, uh, actually they're completely different. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> uh, and that is like 
guess that's about. Uh, <laughs> that's, that, that's all you do. My, no, my, and putting my, together the uh, working on the the forums that we're about to launch our web yeah, forums here within true. the next the next little while. Um, and really, my huh. vital contribution is being the downer. Stuff like, guys, I'm not saying it's a bad idea, but I just don't know if NASA's going to lend us a rocket kind of stuff. Yeah, he we tells us no until we ask. Yeah. Yeah. Also, um, I was the guy making the DVDs. And then I send an email asking, and then I have to break the bad news, and I'm the bad guy. Also, I was the guy doing the DVDs and the but I finished Bless those you. now, so... Yeah. That, 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 it was nice to put that chapter of my life to bed. Yeah, everyone everyone thinks you shaved your head after the Blu-rays, but it's really just your hair fell out from all the yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, we would not advise making uh, DVDs or Blu-rays. It's hard. Or at least uh, not promising to make them in a really short amount of time if you've never made one before. <laughs> Much less four. A short amount of time being four months. Yeah, uh, yeah pretty much. Yeah. So yeah, I do... Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. I do. Um, I do voice acting. I do uh, animation. Uh, we have a uh, cool project. Can't tell you about yet, but uh, some cool things coming up. And then um, I also, do, I, like I said, I'm the production manager. So I also build out our weekly schedule of what we're going to be filming, kind of organizing how we're going to go about it, like best way to tackle it and stuff like that. And uh, I do writing in scripts. Yeah. I also remember birthdays. <laughs> oh, uh, actually, Sunday. Sunday. That's what I said. <laughs> oh, wait, today's Friday. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good job. Good job. Yeah, he's on it. I didn't say I was good at my job. <laughs> <laughs> you said it was one of my jobs. Yeah. You can now yeah, say good. you're worse at a job than Facebook is. It's right. If, <laughs> if anything, if anything, I'm going to defend Joseph right now. He just remembered that I have a birthday. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. That's my job. Joseph that's remembers that I'm one of those tragic people that was born without a birthday. Yeah. So <laughs> so lame. That's why I'm going to. That's why I celebrate with him every day. It's great. Every day is my birthday. <laughs> When you're me. Is this mine? It is now. Okay. Hey. Uh, any other questions? Any other thoughts? Comments? Anything you'd like to share? This is Story Corner, guys. Yeah. Or we'll just start telling stories. Yeah. Noah's got stories. like a billion of them. Stories. 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 What, what, okay, my brother, uh, he has like a day job, but his like part-time job is him and his friend. Like, they own their own like, small company. And they do like video production stuff, too. Mm -hmm. And so I helped him out produce like this video for like a... Uh, like a tech convention kind of thing. Sweet. Story. That's awesome. <laughs> That's very cool. That's very cool. Um, now, is that something that you want to get into, or do you just uh, like do it for fun? Or? Yeah. I guess right now is that time where I'm kind of deciding what I want to do, so it's definitely high up there on like, my list. Excellent. Same. It, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? It's, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Basically, any time between when you're born and when you die, is, it's perfectly acceptable would be like, I, I'm i still figuring it out. Yeah, yeah I'll do whatever. Yeah, figure out what we want to do. Uh, if, if anything, uh, here, let's dive into this really quick. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do in production? What do you like doing? All of it. Uh, I don't know. All of it, cool. Uh, Producer, got it. Because, like, we saw it with the green screen and, like, the cameras and stuff like that and, like, the light kit they had, like, setting up the tech stuff, like, I got really into that and I loved how they did all that stuff and I love like, the little things. Cool. But then, like, I love coming up with ideas for Mm -hmm. so that's that's awesome. If, if anything, having um, people there that know yeah. how to set stuff up is an invaluable asset. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. If, if anything, uh, if you ever wanted to, <clears throat> if you ever wanted to do a uh, kind of get your way into like a corporate scene and everything, uh, I would look into a news station or even just like radio stations stuff like that. They're always looking for tech grips. The, the position is called grip, and basically you'd be able to be exposed to it, constantly setting up things building out the sets and stuff like that. And what's really handy about that is as soon as they know that you actually know how everything hooks together, they will start trusting you with holding their equipment and everything like that. So if anything, I started out as a grip uh, way back when. That's and, what I did too. And uh, it's, it's, a good time. It's, it's a good time, it's a good experience. You know, As long as you're okay with moving stuff, it's great. Yeah. Another great thing is basically everyone that I've talked to that has gotten into production and started out in like a news station, it's like, once you've been there just a bit, just ask someone, hey, can I sit in on whatever and just like observe? And you can basically watch any job you want, how it's done, yep. and ask them questions right there. As long as you're not being like obtrusive or whatever. Sure, exactly. Like, 
causing them to have they, issues. They like people learning because if anything, you, they, they they look at the grips and they go like, these guys are going to be the yeah. new guys eventually. You know? Like any job, they want people there that want to do it. So if right. you're saying, hey, can I come, you know, watch you edit today tonight's footage or whatever, yeah. they're like, yeah, come in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ask um, some questions. One of the most invaluable things you can do during that time is if they tell you to do something and you don't know how to do it, tell them you don't know how to do it. Yeah. Oh my god, do that. You don't want to be the person that tries to fake it. Yeah. Um, that whole fake it till you make it does not it does, apply. It doesn't it. apply when you're handling really expensive equipment. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and if, if anything, too, they're not out to get you to be like, oh, you don't know how to do it, get out. It's more so like, oh, well, uh, sure, let's let's get this out there. And then, then you hold on, you know what I mean? Like, Especially having that moment, like you, you feel like your heart's in your throat, you never forget it. You know what I mean? Like I remember the first time, because we all have our goofs. We all mess Did up. Did you ever tell someone you didn't know how to do it, and then you goofed? Oh uh, no! Oh no! 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 I, I'm saying like you, you, uh, I've had a situation where someone told me, uh, they're like, "Oh hey, yeah, you got to set this up," and I was like, "Okay, great," and I set up the whole thing, and they're like, "You sure you got everything all set?" And I'm like, "Absolutely." And then uh, a half an hour later, we didn't film. But the guy walks around to check out everything. And he goes, "You didn't turn the mic on." And I'm like, "Oh my god!" He's like, "Yeah, if we went live, we would not have a mic." And I'm like, "Ugh." So ever since then, I'm like, "Mic goes on," and it feels so good to flip that switch too now in my head. So um, first time, first time I ran a camera for a, a a project thing that wasn't mine. Yeah. Uh, I for the first fifteen minutes of the interview, yeah, out of focus. Out of focus. Camera was out of focus. Oh, shoot. I will say this. If, do you and uh, you do enjoy sort of like the more technical side of everything? Uh, if you learn to do the sort of sound aspects of things uh, and get decent at it, it's kind of the aspect of like the video process that a lot of people don't really think about because they're more focused on the visual parts of it. Um, so if you if you get at least decent at it and uh, become the sound guy of the team, uh, everybody will think you're a wizard. Because, <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. invaluable. Because, yeah, yeah cause it's, it's sort of like, like, you know, there's, there's things you can learn, and it's not, you know, it's easy to get into, difficult to master, like a lot of that stuff is, but it's, you know, it's, it's sort of like that, it can make or break of, like, the quality of a, of a production, but it's also the part that a lot of people kind of forget about. Yeah. yeah, if anything, to add on to that, too, kind of like what you're saying is, like, a lot of studios, and a lot, just a lot of people who work in studios will just be like, oh, man, I had this idea, and visually, and the character jumps to the window, and it's so cool. And then you don't have That's sound effects. That's basically what I told you what Marble Hornets was at first, too. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. awesome. the guy jumps uh, and, then, and then you don't have the sound effects of the glass shattering or the guy, you know what I mean? Like, you didn't get him grunting when he, walked, when he went through it, but you wanted to have some kind of audio to let you know that he's in pain. All that different stuff. So if you do learn audio, at least, it, it doesn't have to be first, but as long as you learn it early, then you don't go, video! Okay, now i got to learn all this audio stuff, you know? It kind of becomes like, because everyone's excited about video, so now it's like, audio, and then now the video comes natural. Yeah, the audio is kind of the thankless job out of everything. Everyone, yeah. But everyone has watched that Unless you one enjoy video, it. <laughs> that one video where they're like, man, this was pretty good, but it sounded like crap. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. And they just can't enjoy it because of that. Like, audio... Is, you can have a really amazing camera, but if the audio sounds like garbage, then it just yeah. it takes you out of the whole thing. Yeah, audio you, is incredibly yeah. important. A pretty good scene can actually be watched if you close your eyes and just listen to it. You could be like, mm -hmm. wow, I can really kind of get what's going on here. Also, the opposite is true. You mute it. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm always told. Anyway. Yeah. No, no, it's true. Both of them, both of them are interchangeable. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I hope that was a good answer. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Um, any other thoughts, questions, comments? We have about 15 minutes left, yeah. so... Oh story if, time? If you don't ask a question, people will leave right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking story time. And then someone just stands with the back like, good! Yeah. <laughs> We're talking story time, What's Noah. Story? Did we tell you about the time that when we were in, uh... Uh, Austin for a convention, and we were doing a panel, and... Uh, no one could hear us because there was too much applause in the ne in the room next door because John Cena was in there. I remember uh, that. Uh, this is an actual story. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, 
we, that's we got awesome we got shouted out by Con- by John Cena fans. That's yeah. pretty awesome. Never got to see him in person though. I, I that's opened a, that's the a damn door. Shame. Like I because there was a little like back uh, the little like, alley yeah. between the two rooms, so it was like wall alley wall, and we were still like deafened by John Cena's applause. And I like opened the door and I peeked in there and I just saw like his like play on video like I never give up. And it was awesome. <laughs> it was, was life changing. Oh, remember afterwards when they said we were supposed to go to the back? What if we'd like passed him in the back if we'd just gone in yeah. the right way? That'd been awesome. <laughs> we could have met John Cena. Yeah, so I went to the Hell to Make a Web Series panel. They just whined about not seeing John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> they just left. Whatever. They were terrible. Um, I think uh, it's. If you guys have any questions, feel free to stop us. Yeah, from, just, just yeah. yell out. So what yeah. we'll do, yeah, what we'll do is just kind of share. Fun, yeah, there we go. How about this? <clears throat> Let's share either fun production stories or fun stories involving like, oh my god, man, I'm so glad that that. What is what is the biggest goof you've ever had? The biggest goof? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Just just on working on something. Yeah, yeah. just in general. Cool. Um, We've obviously never had any. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. perfect. <laughs> well, when shooting Marvel Hornets one time, I don't. This is probably the biggest goof that just comes off the top of my head. Uh, when shooting Marvel Hornets, when we were in season three uh, at the school, uh, which was about three hours away. Yeah. It was uh, two and a half hour drive. About, about two and a half hour drive from where we lived to get there. So we loaded up everything, went there. Uh, we got out of the car and we're like, all right, so... Uh, we left at about 5.30 in the morning. It's about 5.30 in the morning. Uh, we get there and we get out of the car. And the second I get out of the I car... I think that was the day my found Junior. <laughs> was it? It was one of those I thought we were at a anyway, let's go ahead. Uh, no, we were in Coleman. Okay. Uh, I get out of the car and I go, oh, I forgot the hoodie. We're like, ha-ha. No, but for Good real. Joke. No, I did. <laughs> like, this was... The fan name hoodie, the hoodie hoodie. Uh, uh, kind of important to this entry. Yeah, it was like, it was like the hoodie entry that we shot, uh, and I forgot the hoodie, and it was a two and a half hour drive back. So it was like, this is what happened. This is, this is what physically happened for it. We got out of the car. I forgot the hoodie. Haha, ha, that's funny. No, I'm for real. Well, I guess we're going back. <laughs> got right back in the car and drove back. We uh, met halfway. So the, it's two and a half hours there, about an hour halfway where we met someone who brought us the hoodie, then another hour back, so we're up to four and a half hours. Yeah. And then another two and a half back, so seven hours of driving <laughs> for that one shoot. Uh, we still got back to Coleman in time to get breakfast at Jack's, though. Yeah. That's how early we left. <laughs> We got there at like eight in the morning. We didn't start shooting until like two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was that was my bad. It was a pretty big goof. Uh, I th- is there any? I don't think I like super mega goofing. I lost that. Alex's hoodie. Yeah. Uh, Some of us in hoodies, man. Yeah, I <laughs> lost can't hold the, on the hoodie. blue and black striped hoodie, and I had to buy one because it was out of print. Or whatever you say about clothes. Uh, and I had to order a new one off of eBay. Yeah. But they had there were no medium ones available, so I had to get a small. Uh, so I walked like this. I was just like, <laughs> just don't pay attention to me. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're pointing the camera at me, but don't pay attention yeah. to me. And then we went out and shot it. You did have your glasses on. Yep. Like after we shot it and everything, we had like we got all done, and I was like, wait a minute, this is supposed to be a continuation of a few shots earlier. You're not wearing your glasses. That you were wearing in the shot before. Yeah. At least. Uh, in my defense, we shot that like a half of a year later. Yeah, and, and also your defense, we both could have looked at that footage ourselves to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. It was probably still in the camera by that point. Yeah, it probably uh, was. At least because that camera was self contained, we were never able to have anything as egregious as, oh, we only have video but no sound or anything like that because yeah. it was all. You know, it was all self-contained and everything like that. We have an issue with clothes, though. Yeah. <laughs> we don't like wearing them. <laughs> clothes should be optional. I never yeah. had any problems with my wardrobe, I don't think, because I only own, like, four shirts. Yeah. <laughs> You're gross. Yeah. You'll see them. I mean, I wash them all the time. I, yeah. 
Well, no, because there was that. That's not fair. I have the, two of them now. <laughs> well, no, because you did have that one continuity error, like in the um, in in one of the entries in season three, you were wearing oh, yeah, the wrong right. shirt. It was what well, you yeah, Tim. Asshole. No, Tim <laughs> noticed it. Tim noticed it. Told me about it. And I was like, it's so dark, no one's gonna notice. But of course, people noticed. <laughs> I they were we, very similar clothes. I thought we shot those scenes at the same night. So like, the, didn't we? No, we really? shot. There was some reason we had to shoot it. Oh, it was because. Uh, uh, it like wasn't raining or something in one uh, shot and we wanted continuity between like it was raining or something So we went out and got that one shot again, and you, you thought you put on the right shirt It was it was that, the same like ringer shirts you have Yeah, because they were both like the same brand that I bought like on the same day, and I just got them mixed up But like one, one was like dark green and one was dark blue, and I noticed it you, you said after we shot it that it was uh his different shirt, and I looked at him and compared them, and I was like, it's so dark, this camera's so awful that, like, no one's gonna notice. Like, I think it looks bad. Joke's on you, we put it on a Blu-ray. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, see, because, uh, like, uh, that gives me some peace of mind, because I knew about that, that continuity error, but I couldn't remember that we shot, got that shot on a different day. I thought it was all on the same <laughs> night, so I've just, I've just been sitting there since then, just being like, why did I change shirts? No. Why did was, I change it? I had no reason. It was, uh, oh no, I remember what it was. We got the shot of you in the uh, convenience store. Yeah. And But we forgot to get a shot of you coming or getting in the car. Because uh, yeah. you came. Was that even at the same gas station then? Did we just do it Maybe at another not. one? I don't know. Oh no, it wasn't the same gas station because we were, just when I stayed at that hotel uh, that we shot in, the entry with you and me in the hotel room. We watched Space Jam. Um, <laughs> Joseph just carries a VHS of Space Jam around. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't on TV. I brought it with me. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we were just like, Tim, you know how to use this camera. Go drive around for a second. Go to a gas station. Buy some snacks for us. Yeah, and <laughs> he did. And then uh, like shoot all of that. So we'll just have like the, the footage of you doing stuff. Yeah. Uh, but then we realized that you didn't get the shot of you coming out of the of the convenience store and getting in the car. So I, I called you a little later and we're like, hey, this flows better if we have you getting in the car and looking all haggard. Okay, that that makes me feel better now. I, that all came back to me. I, <laughs> that now. I don't remember yeah. any of that. Yeah. What's your goof? Biggest goof? Um, Tell us about your goof. <clears throat> Let's see. All right. Biggest goof. Um, I remember one time uh, there was going to be a corporate showing of a cartoon I worked on, and uh, I can't say it for legal reasons, but um, basically I was supposed to bring over a, um, a pilot that I was working on. Yeah, maybe. It rhymes um, with plunge bob player pants. <laughs> Um, you know what's funny? I've actually done that before too. Where fr <laughs> my friend's like, "What are you working on?" And I'm like, "Oh, nothing. Just it rhymes with, you know, like this big long thing." And they're like, yeah. "I don't know what that is." And I'm like, "I just made it really obvious." It, it, it rhymes with Spooby Doo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, no. Uh, so I was supposed to bring over a pilot after doing some. Uh, Juan Cena. Yeah. Juan Cena. So I was, <laughs> so I was doing. Um, so I was supposed to bring over the, the edits, and because so, we're gonna air it, we're gonna air it in front of like the board and everything like that. So I was like, oh, this is gonna be really cool. The business people. Yeah, and then, um, and then I get there, and they're like, all right, great, we're gonna air this in like 20 minutes, and I'm like, fantastic. So I show up, and I didn't have it. It's at home. It's just at home, and I'm like, uh, uh, I have to go. What do you mean? Well, I, I'll be right back. No. You, you have to stay, we have to show a thing. And I'm like, okay, do me a favor, just uh, show them this. Because I had another thing in my back pocket, you know, like I had other like tapes of stuff we were doing. So I'm like, show them this and say, this is a, a fun little extra side thing we did to get ready for the production that we spent so long on. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like, look, we, we took the time and made you something extra. So I'm like, show them this, I need to go home and I need to do something. And it's like, <laughs> Okay, that's really weird. Can we also have the pot? No. Yeah, it's like not no. No. You say a corporate cartoon, and I'm just really hoping it's like the DNA cartoon from Jurassic Park or something. Oh. <laughs> that's what that's what I'm thinking maybe, in my maybe. head. No, it stars. actually was yeah. that. So uh, so what I did was uh, I handed them that, and I went back, uh, rushed it back over, and I'm like, okay, cool. And they, they just finished, they finished watching this a little while ago and they were just talking about it. It's like, alright, great, so we're gonna show them this. And they're like, and they're like, oh, hey, there's Noah, how's it going, man? They, the pilot was great, man, we really liked it. It's like, that, uh, um, I have the, 
what'd you think? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, no, we thought it was really cool. You know, we thought you like you guys like built it out really well and stuff like that. And it's like, right on. I have another one to show you. And they're like, oh, cool. Let's watch that. So, I we didn't get caught, but it was still could have been a big tapestry yeah. of bad. Why didn't you so, say I forgot it? I'll be right back. I don't know because it was just kind of like it, it would have looked really bad if we didn't hand them anything. So I was just how long like, had you been working with these people at this time? Like, were you fairly new? It, uh, no, it, I mean, well, it was basically like we we we've been working nonstop. Like, you, you, I mean, you've seen me like not stop working on something, but like it's just kind yeah. of like. <laughs> um, so yeah, so basically it was just kind of like the, the corporate the corporate team they wanted to see it and we've been talking with them maybe for about two weeks. But the, our team we've been handing scenes back and forth constantly. So it could have ended up it couldn't even been at my house at one point. It could have been like could have been anybody's fault. You know what I mean? Like so it's such an anomaly that it's like I was the last one working on it and it's like all right great cool sent the file over and I thought I put it like on a different file, but I didn't. It was on my USB, so it's just kind of like, it's at home. Uh, but yeah, no, they ended up liking both, which is cool. But, um, and it was funny, but, I, uh, but I'll never forget that I almost had that, that little tiny of twinge of, don't tell them about the second one. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. just leave it as the first one and be like, you know what, walk away safe. They liked it. But, but then, then that would have been really bad, <laughs> yeah. because if that ever caught back up to me, it was kind of like, I was told that it was different, and it's like, uh, it's like, <laughs> no, it is. Thank yeah. So, so that basically, that was a big goof that could have gone really bad. But you know, in my fun. mind, they're sitting in the boardroom, you know, whatever the stereotype is. There, they're all in their suits, like Bruh. smoking their cigars. Yeah, everything, <laughs> and you just like burst through the glass door. Ah! <laughs> This is a thing too. So basically, I found this. Yeah, here. The, the real one became the extra one, and the extra one became the real one. But then they, you know, then yeah, it was funny. It's funny now. Did, did, so you didn't even mention to your team before you left that like I forgot it at the house. Oh no, I talked to them. Oh, okay. They they were on board with that. I was just kind of okay. like, all right, this is what's going on. I'm gonna show them this one, and they're like. Okay, cool. That's at least something else that we were cool with. You know what I mean? Yeah. That we were into. Yeah, show them that. That makes sense. Go back. But the thing is, to anyone else that we had to keep face to, it's like, oh, at least you know this one. I'll see you later. You know, and then we just came back, and it was all good. So that was fun. What a goof. Yeah. This guy. This guy over here. <laughs> <laughs> and there was that time you showed up uh, to work completely naked. That you know, was, that happens, that was man. There's nothing wrong, you know. Just but whatever. That's kind of happened to all of us. Live your life. That's who you are. <laughs> who you I know, am. You don't get enough sleep, and you know sometimes you just forget. Yeah. 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 All the time. So um, any, what? 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 About five what? minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Uh, well, okay. Let's wrap it up by saying if someone if someone were to ask a question of. Uh, what what because we usually get this one and i like answering it is what what it, one piece of advice would you give to starting a web series to what start a web series yeah um i would personally say that if you want to start a show um find something you're passionate about find a topic find even a job find something that you want to do because you're going to be doing it for a while and you're going to be with it uh, not that you can't go with different ideas and not that you can't go with different things but like if you like making if you like creating if you like telling a story if you like uh, any kind of aspect of it, uh, push push forward and be comfortable with what you're doing because as soon as it becomes like, it's always going to be work. It's always going to be work. But the minute it becomes trudging work where you're like, I'm not happy, I'm not enjoying this, then it's going to just fall apart because you're, you're not going to really put your heart and soul into it. And surround yourself with people that also do that. You know, find people who are passionate about what they do. Like, uh, my friend Corey, um, I don't know if you guys seen his stuff, he's a uh, spaz kid in 3D on YouTube. Uh, he, he works, he, he's, he's a workhorse man, he works like 13 hours a day. He wakes up, he starts animating, drawing, just doing all this work, and then he goes to bed. And it's like, it's, he's, he's insane. And you think about it, it's like, oh, what kind of life is that? He's happy. He's a wonderful guy, he's really cool, and he's, really, and he's, just, he's so enjoying himself. But that's just one example of like, you don't have to put in that many hours. You don't have to drive yourself crazy or whatever, but just uh, enjoy what you do, if anything. Enjoy what you do. Enjoy being around other creative people who also want to talk about their thing. Like, like I, I talk with Tim all the time where it's just kind of like, oh man, hey, you were messing around with like synthesizers and stuff. That's really cool. 
<laughs> I'm not going to go out of my way to do that myself because I have so many other things that I want to do or I have to do. But I'm happy for him, you know what I mean? And I'm just like, I, I, we bounce, I think all four of us bounce off of each other with our energy of like, man, oh yeah, it's so fun that we're all excited about this. So, I don't know, surround yourself by positivity. I would say. Be a happy person. Be a happy guy, yeah. Mine would be that perfection is a lie. If you sit there and you try to perfect your, your project, you'll just sit there forever and you'll never post anything. I agree with uh, that. You know, obviously, that doesn't mean, eh, once you're done, just slap it on a timeline and export there that, you go. and make there it, you go. Make it good. You know, you, you want to make it as best as you can, but if you sit there and you refuse to post anything until it's perfect, you will never post anything. Mm -hmm. At some point, you just have to hit the, you know, the, un the upload button. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta know when to say when. That is yeah. a problem I have. Yeah. Uh, That's like, not to say you have to post everything that you make. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, sometimes no. you gotta reshoot. There's, yeah. there's, there's nothing wrong with even going like, you know, this one doesn't work. Just, but but the know. main thing though is just don't be afraid to post something because it's not perfect, because nothing yeah. is perfect. Agreed. Uh, we're in a panel. Sorry. You should answer that and be like, um, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that was. Uh, my mom called me in the middle of the panel one time, I should have answered it. You really should have. Um, uh, I thought Joseph was going to take my answer that I usually say, but he didn't. Uh, he, it, it, my answer is the hardest part about starting a thing is starting a thing. Yeah. Uh, I, I decided to switch it up. I thought okay, that. okay. Uh, th 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 thanks for leaving that one to me. Okay. Uh, the hardest part for me anyway, I bet for a lot of people, is starting a thing. Like the actual part, the actual starting part. Because you can easily get to like, oh, I'll get to it. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, what yeah. a great idea, and you keep thinking about it and never and do I, anything about it. I'm kind it. of a hypocrite saying this advice because I have this problem too, but the, the hardest part to get through is starting, and I don't know why, because it's the easiest part. Because It's so easy to start. Because our brains have this weird thing where we get the same satisfaction of creating something as we do thinking about creating yeah. something. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, I always have to just be like, dude, just open up Premiere, open up Flash, go. Like, just start it. Like, draw yeah. the first thing or import the first bit of footage. And then after that, it's like, I'm done, you know? Because you gain your momentum. Yeah. You, know, you start building up. that first step. Yeah, but, but also, again, making me a huge hypocrite, repeating what Joseph says, knowing when to say when is also a really important part because yeah. we have... We, we have deadlines now for when we need to have videos finished, and that's really good for me because I will pick at it forever mm -hmm. if I'm if left to it. It's like, oh, look, I have this one little tiny joke that like one person's gonna notice here, and then this here, right. and this here, and it's if I keep doing that, it's just gonna it's gonna be really complicated and not fun to watch. Right. And ultimately, Cause, cause but because if anything, it's uh, and, that, and that's another thing too is. Um, uh, there's nothing wrong with adding to things, you know, but especially yeah. like let, let's say if you do a comedy and You're like I keep coming up with jokes. So let's put in so many jokes You're not giving your audience a minute to hear them all. You know what I mean? So it's good to have pacing It's good to be like here's the blocking. You know what I mean? We're almost out of, out of time. So. Oh, yeah, Tim, yeah. Tim uh, Don't stagnate don't be afraid of learning new things if you get to something where you're like, I don't know how to do that uh, Don't let that stop you just you know, try to find a way to teach yourself how to do something. Either learn it or find someone that knows how to do it. Yeah, because I, I've, I've learned how to do a ton of random things on my own over the last couple of years. And if you find someone that knows how to do it, learn something from them. Yes. That's true. Yeah. All right, I think Limits that's... Limits are for little babies. Yeah, yeah. don't yeah. be a baby. Don't be a baby. Best life. <laughs> Best life. <laughs> Thanks so, much, thank, thanks, thanks so much for finding our yeah. unannounced panel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. This is a secret panel. We love yeah. you all. You thanks for being, uh, noticing things. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to hang out with us, come see us at our uh, booth. We're at we, the Sheridan. We are at the Sheridan, our booth. So. We're, 